Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to this video on how to start using Smash plugin for WordPress. If you are looking for a way to optimize your images and improve your website's performance, then Smash is a perfect plugin for you. With Smash, you can easily compress, resize, and optimize your images without uh, sacrificing their quality. So in this video, we'll take you through the step-by-step -step process of installing and setting up Smash for your website. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first of all guys, I will show you how to get a WordPress account launched. So the first thing, launch your browser and then go to the URL section. Go here and search for WordPress. So here we go and launch the browser. Go to this website and then click on here to get a WordPress account. Here you might find don't install it yourself or set up with the hosting provider. You can get download WordPress 6.2 from here and install it by your own or see our recommended host so you can have a provider. So these are the two ways to actually have your WordPress and from here, this is from wordpress.org For wordpress.com, which is this one, let me just go here You can create your account directly on WordPress Let me just change the language real quick from this section So it's gonna be English, here we go And simply now to create an account, all you have to do is click on get started and then fill this information with your email address, username, and a password. Or you can continue with Google or an Apple account. Either way, you will have a free account for the beginning. You can upgrade the account so you can have access to plugins and a custom domain name and much more by choosing one of these plans in front of you. So mainly they have like around four plans that are the main ones and two extra plans which are like basic not basic but they are like a side so one of them is the free one and the other one is the enterprise the free has limited access and it is of course for free you don't have a lot of things to do with it but you c it can do the work it will create the website for you and you can like make a simple blog in it for the enterprise one it will cost you a lot about 25k a year and you will have unlimited access to a bunch of features that you won't have in the normal kind of plans. And aside that, you will have four main plans, which are the personal for nine dollars per month. You will have everything in the free plus version. So you will have here beside like free domain, you will have ad free experience, externally fast DNS with SSO and support via email. For the premium one, we'll have premium themes and with word ads and style customization. Here you will have for the business one, so many things. Of course, everything that has passed, you will have it inside of business. So the same thing that you have in personal, you'll have it in premium. The stuff that you find in premium will have them in business plus some extra stuff. So here we are finding install plugin and themes. So you, will, you won't have it actually in those two. Uh, unrestricted bandwidth global edge caching, high burst capacity, web application firewall, and like a bunch of features that are so much good for a website. And finally here for the commerce one, you will have the same things that you have in the business, but plus some extra stuff from sell and ship product, store customization, inventory management, easy checkout experience, payments in 60 plus countries, sales reports, and some other extra stuff. So. Beside that, you can have either free and enterprise one. And in case you would like to go for the long term with WordPress, you feel like you are going to stay with WordPress for a long time, go for the annual plans because they are much more cheaper. Imagine here, for example, if we tried calculator here and we tried to actually uh, spend 45. So here we go. Sorry, uh, 45 uh, if we did it in uh, 12. It will be around 540 and otherwise if we try it by month and you try to pay around 70 per month it will be around that so you are going to actually save around the half 
all of it. So it is like 300 uh, that you are going to save, which is so much uh, like money uh, that you are going to save. I really hope you guys to go for the actual annual plan in case you would like to have the like the websites for long term. And otherwise, for this video, guys, specifically, we are going to use my local host. So my local host is basically a WordPress website that is on my PC, not online. So no one can actually see it. I have the local host uh, WordPress version because I can use all the premium uh, features in it to show you how to do everything that you have to do without having any problems with like paying or f like having free plan, etc. So basically, in case you'd like to have it, you can just go to your local host and slash the WordPress slash WP login the PHP and this is for user one, two, three, and you will be logged in into your dashboard. It is as simple as that, guys. So now let's keep up with the tutorial. So basically, we are going to use the same logic after you open our dashboard. We are going to go to the plugins from here and then click on add new. So here you have two ways to actually get the plugin downloaded. The first one is by clicking on add plugins. So you can upload here plugin by, from your PC. You can, for example, go to browser, search for smart plugin for WordPress. And right from here, you can go through to the first link, download the file as a zip file, wait for it until it is fully downloaded. Then go here, click on choose file, and then just search for it in the, your PC files and upload it. Click on install now. And as you can see, it may take a couple seconds and it is successfully installed. Now we can go here to show you the other way to actually have it. You can go to the keywords, search for Smosh, click on enter, and wait until the results will show up for you. So this is the one that you are going to go for with the blue logo. Smash lazy load images optimize and compress images. Click on activate to activate it and make sure that it is on this section which is on the activate section on the plugins. So it is here. And now let's search for it. It will be in this menu. As you can see here, it is in the bottom. Click on it. Here, as you can see, you'll find different kind of submenus inside of it. So uh, let's wait a little bit here. I think uh, there's a problem with the page or my connection is not working well. So back to you guys. So as you can see, here you will have dashboard, bark smash, directory smash, lazy load, local web, uh, web P, integrations, settings, tutorial, and smash pro. So all of these are different sections of the actual uh, Smash plugin. So for example, Smash Pro is the pro version that you can get uh, by paying, basically. It is like the premium version. And you can get a free trial if you'd like to try it for a couple of days and then think or decide either you want to get it or not. But otherwise, it will cost you around $7.5 per month. And you will get all these features from Optimize Unlimited Images, Ace Google Page Speed, 30 Day Money Back, Sm uh, Smash 140 Point CDN, which is a bonus. So you can get some points using uh, in Smash that you can buy them uh, by using them. Other stuff later on, 1 million plus active installs and expert life support. So you can just get it from here. And if you were going just to go with the free version, you can just ignore this page and keep up with the settings. So now you can go here and they will start checking the images that you have in your PC or in your website. At the moment, I don't have any like images on my website, but usually you have 10 attachment that needs smashing. For example, I have here, I don't know if I do have, I forgot, but if you want to smash them and make them uh, smaller in size, here we go. You can just click here and as you can see, this is how much you have saved uh, through smashing those attachments that you have in your website. So in total, I have smashed 48 um, image and I have saved around 120 kilobytes. Not that much, but yeah, if you do have more than that, of course, you will save more than me. So yeah, guys, that was completely it. That's how you can use smash on WordPress and add it. I hope you like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial.